he did like a diary, all in English, about me and him when I was on the MRT. I remember just crying, like thinking, oh my gosh, he would pick up words with a real Lincoln accent, British local town English. It was really amazing. In English, you sound really harsh, so strong, and it upsets me so much more. And I, I call you bitch. Don't call me bitch. 87. I know what I mean. <laughs> 大家好，我是 Amy。我是邓子。我们今天只是来大屯山，最近就是我们休假，只是很喜欢两个人在爬山。平常我们比较忙一点，对，对我们没有什么时间，就是可以聊我们的心理的想法之类这样子。所以我们觉得是一个很好的机会。我跟邓子认识的时候，认识的时候我不会讲国语，他不会讲英文。我就想今天跟大家聊一下，我们怎么学，就是另外一个人的那个无缘，跟邓子玩一个算 game 吧。嗯我们全部讲英文好不好？好啊。So, no problem, you're my majesty. <laughs> Let's go hiking. Hiking, go. So when we first met, like, how did we talk? Because we couldn't, I couldn't speak Chinese and you couldn't speak English. Yep. Then we just use like body language. Yeah. Yeah, body language. Body language is easy, I think, because like, for example, if you're hungry, just like. Yeah. Like that. Exactly. You, you're really full, like that. Exactly. I think body yeah. language is uh, really easy. It's, it's universal, right? How about that? <laughs> Spicy. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> be brave. Sometimes you don't need to um, use words to communicate. Like, I, didn't, I couldn't understand what he was talking about, but I knew he had a good humour. Mm -hmm. I knew he had a good heart. Just yeah. by his actions, you had a really kind heart because I told him I really liked his T-shirt on the first night, and then he disappeared, like for like 20 minutes, yeah. up back to his room because it, it was in like a hostel. And then 20 minutes later, he came down and he gave me his T-shirt, and I thought, oh, he didn't say anything, but I just could feel this was a really good person. <laughs> use a T-shirt to marry you? Yeah, you did. You did use the T-shirt. Do what, right? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe the first week we met, he did like a diary. And it was all in English about me and him. Like, oh, today was our first day, or the first time you took me to like London Bridge, all this kind of stuff. He gave me on Valentine's Day, our first Valentine's Day yeah. together. There was yeah. a big like diary. Mm -hmm. And I remember just, he gave me it when I was on the MRT, on the tube. And I remember just crying, like thinking, oh my gosh, because you could see the progression of his English as well. Like the first <laughs> week was like, today we went here. And then it was the, the net, maybe after like three or four months, it was a real detailed of how he fell. He told me that was how he, he also developed his English. Like he just thought, how can I write it and stuff? And yeah. that was really sweet. Yeah, thank yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> when English, the English progresses quite fast. Yeah. Because you have to use English, use every word you can. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's different to my experience in Taiwan first coming here. I can speak in English and it's not a problem. That was the difference. So yeah, I think you progressed different. a lot quicker in English than yeah. I did in Chinese because yeah. you had no choice. And also, you, I couldn't speak Chinese when you came to England. So oh, yeah. you, you were on your own, right? Yeah. <laughs> and all my, all my roommates are British. Yeah. So I have to. He would pick up words with a real Lincoln accent and it was so funny to see like you starting with broken American English and then within six months you were speaking a real local town, mm. Briti British local town English. It was really amazing to see his progression. Oh, your dad speak really local, right? <laughs> like... Some, yes, <laughs> my dad would use like the yeah. real slang phrases that probably only Northern English people or sometimes people in like younger generations would not understand anymore. Yeah. Maybe he would use that on so you. So free sports, yeah. brass monkeys mean really, really cold. Yeah. Who, who, who exactly. Know? Yeah, who would know that? I think there was one thing that shocked you actually, is mum would say, if I did something stupid, she would say, oh, you stupid bitch. And I remember him saying, mum called you a bitch. I was like, oh no, 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 he was really shocked. He was like, yeah, Sometimes you say to Mung, you are a bitch. Yeah, but, said, but, but it, was, it was not in a horrible way. How like, can you talk to Mung like that? Exactly. It's like a really cute way of saying, oh, you sound bad. You know, it's like this kind of thing, right? Yeah. 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 When I learn English, I think you correct me straight away, right? Because yeah. Because I have to learn. Yeah. I was in England. He corrects me, I get a little bit angry, but if another person <laughs> corrects me, I'm like, I'm like, oh, thank you. You know, but I think it's because we're close, I don't know. <laughs> And I think sometimes, like, I've said a sentence around you for a long time, and then I'll say yeah. it to somebody else, and they're like, what? And then I just feel, sometimes I feel like, oh my god, I feel embarrassed. Like, I've been saying this for so long, like, zhi, bu zhi si. Yeah. I used to say bu jiu si. Oh. I've said it for years, and I've wrote it for years. Sometimes you don't like people correct you. We said that before, haven't we? Yeah. Not people, just you. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why, I don't like it when you correct me. So I just say, in the end, just say, okay, you can say that. Thank you, yeah. Thank you for helping me. <laughs> Like the word Tai Wan Xiao, Tai Wan Xiao, right? A yeah. joke. I thought it it was Tai Wan Xiao, Tai Wan Xiao, Taiwanese yeah. joke. I would say, oh, it's like Ingo Xiao. 
but he didn't correct me. He was like, oh yeah. Because <laughs> he thought, what's that foreigner talking about? <laughs> I think when you start learning, you have to ignore them because you, you have to, you can't just correct, 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 correct yeah. all the time. Yes. Yeah. Because you'll lose confidence as well, I think. I had a friend and every time we went for dinner, she would correct my every single word. And in the end, I just got like bored. I was like, come on, I just, we, need, we, we can't even talk, you know. And it became to the point where I was scared to talk because I was afraid that I'll say it wrong again. And... <laughs> First learning Mandarin, I remember coming to Taiwan thinking, yeah. In a year, I'll be able to speak Mandarin. I'm sure I can. I remember like being here for the first year and thinking, I haven't really progressed at all. And I remember feeling like I'd hit a wall, you know. Like, and I felt really. There was a time I felt really down. The biggest push for me was when we opened our restaurant. I had to face the customers, and we needed money, so I couldn't be like, oh, I'm going to close while you, before you come back, you know. You make banana to Marina. Oh God! At that time, I didn't know the difference between Xiang Cao and Xian Jiao, and one customer got angry. And I was just like, I'm sorry, I just can't. I, for like two years, I couldn't tell the difference between those words. It was so hard. What's language? For, for me, communication. communication yeah. We are not other English, we are English, right? Yeah. <laughs> we don't have to perfect. Right, if we perfect, communicate, you go, that's enough, right? You can go to other England to watch it, but we just need communication, you know. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, for me, just think about com communication. Just one jam, you know. Yeah. I think that's really. It's if you're losing some words by the language. Yeah. Go for it. I think that is totally. Yeah, it's good yeah. advice. I think for a lot of people, it's just like stop being so scared and just say it. Sometimes you, you know, you say the wrong thing, and you know that yeah. you, you, you're open to everything. People will laugh at you, maybe. People yeah. maybe pick on pick on your words and things like that, but I think just say it and then you progress. And I think to be honest, it's not as bad as you think. Most people in the world are supportive. I think definitely. Yeah, yeah people are all yeah. Yeah, they're trying. You know what I mean? Give them a go. Ninety-nine percent is yeah. the Thai people. You know, they it, know you're trying. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, and I yeah. always look at it like as soon as I make a mistake and I realize I made a mistake, you actually remember that it more if you make a mistake. For Asian, that's confidence is everything. I think because yeah. we didn't know lots of words. Right. Just. Yeah. yeah, I think that's important. When I was young, I think in, sometimes we would think people speak English, they're, they're more educated. No. Yeah, yeah sometimes. But you feel like that, yeah. Yeah, we would think that, but when I went to England, I said, no, it's not, not really. I think that language is just, a, just ability. Mm. Do you think it's like American ability is better than us now? Most Americans can speak like one language, mm. but most most of Asian or Taiwanese they can speak two three languages. English speaker their ability better than us because they can speak perfect English. But they're native, right? Yeah. Yeah. But my Chinese is better than <laughs> yeah. everyone, right? My Taiwanese is better than everyone, so my third language. So if you think about language, you will think, wow, my English, my language skill is quite good actually. Yeah. Then, then yeah. you start give yourself more confident. Yeah, and that's, yeah. That's, really, that's really important. Just support yourself. Think about a different way, I think. I decided in Taiwan to learn Chinese because I know it is an option for me. For me, I think it's about just immersing into the culture and not feeling lonely as well because I think, yeah, of course, I could go and find people from my own country, things like that, but I don't know, it, it was, it's just limited as well. I'd love to get to know them you know, and, and on a deeper level, and you, you can't if you just speak your own language. I think that was one thing. I wanted to really get to know people, and I think it's about understanding the culture. I think you're pretty good about that. You quite respect pe people's culture, you know. Oh, thank you. Yeah. If I couldn't speak Chinese and me and your mother went for a walk, I would not be able to learn about her or learn about her past or things like that. And the same for you as well. I just think you're my husband and it's not fair for you to be always speaking my language, you know. Yeah, I think it's also really important. I think immersing yourself in it and trying to speak to native people as much as possible. You just give yourself five minutes per day. Five minutes, that's all you need to do. It's better than you like once per week, like doing one hour and then forgetting it all. I really think it's consistency. If you really want to learn a language, you have to do a little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit. And then within six months, you realise, oh my God, I can speak like 500 words. Another one as well, I don't know what people think about this. It's the self-talk as well. Telling yourself, I can do this. I am, you know, I will pick up the language quickly and I can, I will understand. And I do understand that part. And, and just being there for yourself and not saying, oh, I can't say it well or I can't understand it. Honestly, I think you, 
are even like more fierce than a British boy when it comes to British fighting. You're really good at throwing the, the words there. You're really good actually. Yeah. Yeah. You're quite scary in, when you fight in English. No, he won't. He won't. no he's, I think his English fighting is better than my English fighting, actually. In English, you sound really harsh. Like, you sound really scary. Like, you, you, you'll you use words that is, like, really strong when you fight in English, yeah. <laughs> maybe, you don't, maybe they don't sound strong for you because it's your second language. That's really bad. Oh, really? That's horrible. From your heart, it wasn't strong, but from me receiving it as my native language, it's so strong and it upsets me so much more, you know. We still miss up, like... Sometimes I call you bitch. He says, Don't call me bitch. <laughs> okay, 87. I know what I mean. <laughs> when you speak in English, you do have kind of a different personality. Maybe it's because the words you use, it's more abrupt. Like, sometimes when we're having a, a meeting or something about work and you're using English, sometimes the words you use, for me, sounds a little bit fierce. So you tell me in Chinese what you mean, I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, it doesn't sound so bad. When you learn a new language, you can become a different person. You can Definitely. create your new yeah. self. The English, Amy, for me is sometimes a little bit uh, polite and I wouldn't dare to really say something that's very direct to someone. Yeah. But in Chinese, I have no problem. I have no problem going into my workplace and saying to my staff, that looks really bad. In England, I would never dare go into my workplace with my team member and say, oh, that looks awful. I would use a very polite way of going around it, but in Taiwan, I feel like I can just say it. They prefer you being direct in Taiwan. Yeah, yeah. I like that. I really like that. Before I met Amy, I think my English is crap, you know, just... An <laughs> English. I think with English, just for the exam, I think. Mm. So I'm just sometimes skip up, you know. Because Taiwan focuses on you've got to get the grammar right. And... We don't have the chance to talk to foreigners. Eh? I think that's why maybe People see you and say, oh, finally, we can practice our English. Yeah. If I don't have a chance to go to England, I think I, I, I don't have a chance to learn English, I think. You did pretty good today, like yeah. speaking all in, all in English, and I think you Thank haven't you. lost your accent. So I think you should be proud that because you're not, you're not speaking it every day and that you're not in an English-speaking environment, really, you still manage to keep your skill because it's quite Thank easy you. to lose, isn't it? You learn the language, at first, we Taiwan, say, Oh, your voice, how is it? Your language, how is it? So what? Just communication, is all. So I did a good day. Maybe the third or fourth year, just a good day, not to go out. Maybe you will speak English with your friends. Of course, it's a bit lonely. 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 要聊比较深的话题，可是我觉得你会进步很慢，然后来你变成就习惯了就 lazy 这样子。谢谢宝贝，今天跟我一起拍影片，谢谢，好玩，英文很好啊，谢谢你。他没有退步，就是进步啊，很厉害啦。所以非常感谢大家看今天的影片，希望你喜欢，喜欢的话你可以在下面 subscribe， 按那个小铃铃铃，每次我出新的影片马上可以看得到。然后还没的话，你可以来我们的餐厅。也开在淡水老街，那我们还有那个信义基隆路，我们还在 online www.bridgeshade.com， 我们就下一次见了哈，拜拜拜拜拜拜拜拜。拜拜拜拜拜拜